Today I want to talk about the whole Cake Island arc. Why I haven't been reviewing it consistently. What changed from the end of Drift Rosa and like around the middle of this arc. What changed? Well let me explain. First of all, I don't like this arc. This is probably, this is probably my least favorite One Piece arc. I don't like it. And allow me to explain why. Now first of all, let me explain to you my mindset when we went into this arc, alright? We had just left though, and I was like, okay, we need to get Sandy back. We're gonna go in, Luffy's gonna screw things up, we're going to make goof off for like five chapters, and then we'll leave. I was thinking 15, 20, 25 chapters at most. I wouldn't mind a long arc if 90% of this arc wasn't Luffy running away. And now, I know people give uh, Oda a lot of flack for Dracarosa having this, but let me explain to you why this doesn't bother me as much in Dracarosa. One, in Dracarosa, we had something to look forward to after all the running. Luffy was running to the enemy. He was running to Doflamingo, and we were all wondering, how is Luffy going to beat Doflamingo? We knew they were going to fight, and let's be honest, we were, none of us were thinking they were going to lose. So we were just waiting for Luffy to fight Doflamingo. But in this arc, we know Luffy can't beat Big Mom. In fact, he's only landed one hit on her this entire arc. Luffy could barely beat Cracker, so we know he's not probably going to beat Katakuri. So, we're kind of just sitting here like, we're running so we can leave? We as fans know Luffy isn't going to beat Big Mom. We all know this. There is no way in hell Luffy can beat on Yonko. So now we have the problem. If this was just, as I said on Twitter while talking to Mr. Ninja Star, if this was just a get in, get out, with a little bit of fun in between arc, it would be fun. If it was like Little Garden, or it would be a Davy Backfire arc, if it was that length, it would be fine. But we've been here for like 50 or 60 chapters. We've been here for a while. We've been here... Since around 8.30, we've been here for like 30, 40 chapters, probably more than that. And it just gets boring. We know Luffy's going to escape. They're not all going to die. And it's, it's not even really a question of how, because there's nothing a question. The only thing we can maybe question is whether or not Luffy and Katakuri are going to fight. And even then, I think at this point, they're outnumber him so much, they would win. And I mean, it was good in the beginning with, like, Louie with a cracker and stuff. But as we went on and it dragged, I'm both certainly, you can see in the quality of my reviews and how less Luke and I were doing them, around Luffy versus Sanji. But when I slowly started, like, okay, I feel like the arc would have been a lot stronger. They could have just kept everybody's asses and they could have taken Sanji. I feel like it would have been a lot better there. I don't think it was meant to be a long arc. And the problem is, not coming back every week with the mindset of, how is Luffy going to beat this guy? Or this. Every time a chapter ends, I'm like, okay. So, they were running in the beginning of the chapter, and now they're still running. What changed? Ugh. And now we're up stuff with pudding and Sanji. We're making the cake after this chapter, latest chapter. And I'm just like, Oda, I don't really care at this point. This arc has been dragging on and on. We, we've been, the fandom have been saying 10 more chapters until the end of the arc. For like 5 months now. It's ridiculous. We're just taking the arc and we're just stretching it out. I'm not sure if there's an Oda preparing for Wano. I don't know what's going on. But I mean, and now you're telling me we have another contrivance and convenience to add on to this. Everything in the arc is convenient. It's like, is it, there, I'm not going to go into all of them, but a lot of the things that happen, like Nami's, like Zeus, that's Zeus liking Nami's black ball. That's way too convenient. The thievery car thing, way too convenient. One Piece had a lot of stuff like that, but it's never been this many in a row. Then there's Pudding, 
who I despise. I hate pudding. I just, there's nothing likable about pudding. She's not a likable as a villain because she's a bad one. And she's also not likable as a good character, good guy. Because let's be honest, nobody cares about pudding. Like, she's just really annoying. Like, I mean, the problem is Oda built her up as an evil bitch. And I liked her. She was a bitch. She was so unlikable. I mean, she was a terrible human being. And now he's trying to make us feel bad for her. And I'm like, no. No. You can't just expect us to, to, to hate a character and then like her because you want us to. You shouldn't have made her so unlikable then. Like, I, I refuse to like a character that does the thing Pudding does. Pudding's really unlikable. I don't like her. She's annoying. And I don't like any of her roles in the arc either. I've talked about this. This video is not getting its audio, its audio edited at all. But I don't feel like doing it. And that's one of the reasons I haven't been making like this Dungeon video for One Piece lately. Because I, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about this arc. It's boring. It's a really boring arc. It's like... And the discussion to do about the dark will essentially be, so it's Luffy. Get, what will Luffy do next chapter? I, will, you know, I'm gonna tell you what Luffy gonna do next chapter. I'll tell you right now. Get to run away some more, and he's gonna run away some more, and he's gonna do it some more, and some more, and some more, and some more. I'm gonna get to run, 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 run. My God, we have been running for so damn long. It is ridiculous. And the problem is that. It gets to the point where at the end of the chapter, I'm not excited for the next one. I have read a One Piece chapter. Want to know why? I, I didn't read it until Saturday. Want to know why I read it? Because I wanted to make this video. You want to know the reason I'm not reviewing Whole Cake Island? Because I had nothing to say on it. It got to the point where every chapter, I essentially had the same, same opinion. This wasn't that bad. Everything made sense. It was objectively pretty good. Um, Luffy ran all around a lot. I'm sorry. And then by the time we got to the stuff with the wedding, I just didn't care at that point. And I was just like, is it because the plan is even to fight Big Mom. The plan is to, is to paralyze her with a, with a rocket launcher and run away. And like, no, I don't want to see that. That's boring. Nobody cares. And it's just not interesting to me. Today I want to talk about the whole Cake Island arc. Well, I haven't been reviewing it consistently. What changed from the end of Drift Rosa and, like, around the middle of this arc? What changed? Well, let me explain. First of all, I don't like this arc. This is probably... This is probably my least favorite One Piece arc. I don't like it. And allow me to explain why. Now, first of all, let me explain to you my mindset when we went into this arc, alright? We had just left the though, and I was like, okay, we need to get Sandy back. We're going to go in, Luffy's going to screw things up, we're going to make goof off for like five chapters, and then we'll leave. I was thinking 15, 20, 25 chapters at most. I wouldn't mind a long arc if 90% of this arc wasn't Luffy running away, and now... I know people give uh, Oda a lot of flack for Drek Rosa having this, but let me explain to you why this doesn't bother me as much in Drek Rosa. One, in Drek Rosa, we had something to look forward to after all the running. Luffy was running to the enemy. He was running to Doflamingo, and we were all wondering, how is Luffy gonna beat Doflamingo? We knew they were going to fight, and let's be honest, we were, none of us were thinking they were going to lose. So we were just waiting for Luffy to fight Doflamingo. But in this arc, we know Luffy can't beat Big Mom. In fact, he's only landed one hit on her this entire arc. Luffy could barely beat Cracker, so we know he's not probably going to beat Katakuri. So we're kind of just sitting here like, we're running so we can leave? We as fans know Luffy isn't going to beat Big Mom. We all know this. There is no way in hell Luffy can beat on Yonko. So now we have the problem. If this was just, as I said on Twitter while talking about Mr. Ninja Star, if this was just a get in, get out, with a little bit of fun in between arc, it would be fun. 
And then with like Little Garden, or or be a uh, Davy Back fight arc, and it was that length, it would be fine. But we've been here for like fifty or sixty chapters. We've been here for a while. We've been here since around eight thirty. We've been here for like thirty, forty chapters, probably more than that. And it just gets boring. We know Luffy's going to escape. They're not all going to die. And it's, it's not even really a question of how. Because there's nothing to question. The only thing we can maybe question is whether or not Luffy and Katakuri are going to fight. And even then, I think at this point, they're outnumbered him so much they would win. And I mean, it was good in the beginning with like Luffy with the Cracker and stuff. But as we went on and it dragged, I'm both certainly, you can see in the quality of my reviews and how West Luke and I were doing them, around Luffy versus Sanji, but when I slowly started, like, okay, I feel like the arc would have been a lot stronger if they could have just kept everybody's asses and they could have taken Sanji. I feel like it would have been a lot better there. I don't think it was meant to be a long arc. And the problem is, not coming back every week, with the mindset of, how is Luffy going to beat this guy? Or this? Every time a chapter ends, I'm like, okay. So, they were running in the beginning of the chapter. And now they're still running. What changed? Uh, and now we're up with stuff with Pudding and Sanji. We're making the cake after this chapter, latest chapter. And I'm just like, Oda, I don't really care at this point. This arc has been dragging on and on. We, we've been, my fan and I have been saying 10 more chapters until the end of the arc for like 5 months now. It's ridiculous. We're just taking the arc and we're just stretching it out. I'm not sure if there's an Oda preparing for Wano. I don't know what's going on. But I mean, and now you're telling me we have another contrivance and convenience to add on to this. Everything in the arc is convenient. It's like, is it, there, I'm not going to go into all of them, but a lot of the things that happen, like, Nami's, like, Zeus, that's Zeus liking Nami's black ball. That's way too convenient. The thievery card thing, way too convenient. One, because a lot of stuff like that, but it's never been this many in a row. 